Salut tout le monde. Today I am going to make Christmas cookies and also discussing carols because there's some really bad ones that are considered not bad. Just there's just some songs that I just like, talk about some and maybe occasionally sing a little bit. I'm making these cookies today for an ugly Christmas sweater party that I'm going to. This is my ugly Christmas sweater. I had these notes for <laughs> A couple of the songs that I wanted to talk about. I had to start actually planning these instead of doing spur of the moment things, I guess. Uh, there's one song in particular that I really want to talk about, and I know it's been talked about to death because I'm not the only person who feels this way about it. Baby, it's cold outside. You know the one I'm talking about. I have to go away, for baby, it's cold outside. Yeah, that nonsense. Um. Just no. Basically a date rape song. I mean, I like the song. And I know, I know the whole thing about, well, and it's time. You know, it, it wasn't, that wasn't the thought or whatever. Fine. You want to use the time period when it was written and first uh, produced as a reason for why it's not a date rape song. Fine. But quit remaking it. Because it no longer works in today's society. I don't care how it's sung, either way, unless a girl is saying yes, it means no. And if she's saying yes because you've been manipulative and pushy and whiny, it's still not consent. Not really. Just remember, boys and girls, consent is sexy. And anything that's not yes, yes, yes is no, no, no. <sighs> Let's talk about this one real quick. <laughs> and I love the song. I do. It's kind of fun to sing. Most of the versions of it are awful though. And the song that I'm talking about is Santa Baby. Santa Baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. Been an awful good girl. Yeah, that one. You know what I'm talking about. I love the happy thing, but then they try to make it too sexy and it's kind of creepy if you think about it because you're trying to seduce a centuries old kindly elf like man creepy that way but if you do it like the fun little jaunty sort of thing that's totally cool uh, that's good stuff let's talk about all these uh lonely songs I mentioned this briefly when I was wrapping Christmas presents, but uh, I am so tired of Blue Christmas and All I Want for Christmas is You and Santa Bring Me My Baby for Christmas or whatever. I know that some people are lonely and some people do want to be with somebody else for Christmas and I'm sorry. It doesn't really feel like Christmas this year. I don't, I don't know why. Um, I, I mean, I put up the Christmas tree. I put icicle lights on my balcony and, you know, now I'm, I'm baking something Christmassy. Uh, you know, I, I was knitting all the gifts and wrapping presents and there's been Christmas music playing at work for a month and we've had Christmas decor for three months. There's something off about this year and it's not being alone. For Christmas. Um, my stocking's pretty lonely. I was alone last Christmas too and up to it. I still got really excited for Christmas. I was so excited to put up the tree and uh, I couldn't figure out how to put the icicle lights outside at the apartment I was living at so I just strung them around the living room and then they stayed that way for the next six months that we lived there. Gingerbread and some kind of peppermint cookies, all kinds of things, and I danced around singing Christmas carols, and it just felt different. It felt festive, and I really just don't know what it is about this year that doesn't feel festive. Last year, I didn't even have the, the Christmas present thing together. I was kind of last minute going around going, what do I do? do uh, so it was it was so weird because last year felt like christmas and this year doesn't i'm trying to get myself into the festive mood i want to feel christmasy christmas time <sighs> 
getting in the spirit. This is not my most successful cookie venture. Later.